Right, hello, kids. Where are you all? Can anyone, anyone who wants to do one of these sheets, put your hand up and wave so I can see you all. And we've got some coming down. Okay. Um, well, I feel a bit funny being trapped behind a lectern, so if I move away, hopefully you can still hear me. Um, but kids, today we are going to hear a story. Next, um, Mr. McLenahan's going to read us a story, and he's going to talk to the adults. And one of the things you're going to hear is something that happened to Jesus he was trying to do the right thing. He was doing good things. He went along and he healed a man who desperately needed help. He saw him and he helped him and he healed him. Now, was that a good thing to do, do you think, or a wrong thing to do? Well done, Alice. It is a good thing to do. So he was doing good and Jesus kept on doing good and kept on doing good things. But we'll hear about some people who called him bad names for doing good things, who told him that he was doing evil things, who didn't understand what he was doing and who thought it was the wrong thing. So I'm going to ask you, have you ever tried to do the right thing and someone has called you bad names for doing that or has told you it's not a good thing to do? Has that ever happened to anyone here? Yep. And I think actually that is going to happen to you. That happens to adults as well. We try and do the right thing. We try and do what Jesus tells us to do. Uh, we try and do good things, but people might call us bad names or tell us not to do that anymore. People might laugh at us or people might tell us it's the wrong thing. And we're going to hear today about what happened to Jesus when he did that. He actually kept on doing good things. He kept on doing the right things. He didn't worry that people called him bad names or that people didn't believe what he said. He knew what God wanted him to do and he kept on doing that anyway. So while we're reading the passage today and while you're hearing the sermon, that's what I want you to be thinking about. What did Jesus do when people called him bad names? What did he keep on doing? He kept on doing what he knew was right. He kept on doing good things and he kept on seeking out to find out what God wanted him to do and to do that. So has everyone got these sheets with them? Who's got some sheets? Alice, I know you've got sheets. Yes, up the back you've got sheets. Excellent. Now, there's sheets for everyone. There's sheets for big kids and sheets for young kids. For big kids, there's some sheets about how powerful Jesus is. That's something that he's going to teach us today, that we can trust him and we can keep doing the right thing, even when people call us bad things or people don't believe us, because we know that he is powerful. He's more powerful than anything else in the world. So there's sheets about how powerful Jesus is and what you can learn about him. For the bigger kids, there's you can find some words. So while we're reading the Bible passage, listen out for the words that are here and try and find the verse that they're in and try and find them in the word search. That's a good way for you to learn the Bible passages and to learn to understand it more because you have to look for those words and work out where they are. And for the little kids, I know there are lots of you here, um, there's some colouring in pages and some things you can think about. And I want you to think about why you can trust Jesus and what he's done for you. You can trust him because he's powerful. You can trust him because he loves you. And you can trust him because he knows that no matter what anyone says about you, if you're trying to do what he says, you're doing the right thing. So while you're doing your colouring in, you can think about on this page it says to keep on trusting God and obeying him. And so that's our lesson for today for the kids. Keep on trusting God no matter what anyone tells you. No matter what they say about what you're doing, if you're trying to do what Jesus wants you to do, then you can keep on trusting him because he knows and he sees and he loves you. So enjoy doing the sheets, kids, and keep on thinking about that. And let's just pray quickly um, together. The kids and the adults can join in too while you do your sheets. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you love each one of us. Thank you that you love each child here and that you have given them the chance to be your friend. Thank you, Jesus, that no matter what anyone says about us, no matter what people think, if we keep trying to do what you want us to do and follow you and love you, we know that you see that and you are pleased with us. Help us, Lord, to do the right thing, even when it's difficult. Help us to do it even when people call us bad names or don't understand. And help us to keep on following you and trusting you. Thank you, Jesus, that you're powerful, that you're good and that you love us and help each person here, especially the children, to know that deep in their hearts. Amen.